Mini episode 62 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by the Pullins Group, delivering public affairs consulting and marketing services for small businesses trying to grow. Follow them on the web at PullinsGroup.com. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Welcome to mini-episode 62 of the FDH Lounge and our 18th adaptation of the FantasyDraftHelp.com Insider in this format after eight seasons on our previous platform. This is FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with our NFL Playoff Preview version of the Insider. This week we're going to give you our draft board for playoff leagues. Typically this format favors explosive players who go deep into the playoffs because it is predicated on both production per game and the number of games played. So it requires both the standard means of forecasting production and also discerning how many games each player's team is likely to play in the postseason. For example, with the brutal potential path ahead of the Detroit Lions, there is no way that Megatron can be slotted nearly as high as he would be on a regular season fantasy football draft board. We'll start you with our overall top 10 before we move into the breakdown by position. The top 10 is as follows. 1. Aaron Rodgers. 2. Drew Brees. 3. Tom Brady. 4. Greg Jennings. 5. Jimmy Graham. 6. Jordy Nelson. 7. Darren Sproles. 8. Ray Rice. 9. Jermichael Finley. 10. Rob Gronkowski. Folks, you're listening to the FantasyDraftHelp.com Insider. Would you walk us through a typical day for you? Yeah. Great. Well, I generally come in at least 15 minutes late. Uh, I use the side door. <laughs> and uh, after that, I just sort of space out for about an hour. Until but, I'm uh, space out? Yeah. I just stare at my desk. But it looks like I'm working. I do that for uh, probably another hour after lunch, too. I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real, actual work. Starting at QB, 1 Aaron Rodgers, 2 Drew Brees, 3 Tom Brady, 4 Matt Stafford, 5 Ben Roethlisberger, 6 Matt Ryan, 7 Eli Manning, 8 Joe Flacco. At running back, 1 Darren Sproles, 2 Ray Rice, 3 James Starks, 4 Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, 5 Arian Foster, 6 Michael Turner, 7 Frank Gore, 8 Pierre Thomas, 9 Ryan Grant, 10, Isaac Redman, 11, Ahmad Bradshaw, 12, Ben Tate. At wide receiver, 1, Greg Jennings, 2, Jordy Nelson, 3, Marcus Colston, 4, Wes Welker, 5, Mike Wallace, 6, Calvin Johnson, 7, Roddy White, 8, Victor Cruz, 9, James Jones, 10, Antonio Brown, 11, Torrey Smith, 12, Hakeem Nix. At tight end, 1, Jimmy Graham, 2, Jermichael Finley, 3, Rob Gronkowski, 4, Aaron Hernandez, 5, Vernon Davis, 6, Tony Gonzalez, 7, Jermaine Gresham, 8, Owen Daniels. At kicker, 1, Mason Crosby, 2, John Casey, 3, Steven Gostkowski, 4, David Akers, 5, Billy Cundiff, 6, Matt Bryant, 7, Jason Hansen, 8, Lawrence Tynes. Defense special teams, 1, Pittsburgh. 2, Baltimore, 3, San Francisco, 4, Houston, 5, Cincinnati, 6, New York Giants, 7, Green Bay, 8, New Orleans. So there's our playoff draft board for the 2011-2012 NFL postseason. In the weeks to come, we'll be taking a look back and extracting some lessons from the NFL regular season. Thanks for checking us out. Go break off a little value on your opponent this week 
And be sure to sample our other Nothing is Off Topic mini episodes, including our recent conversation with rock superstar Steve Perry from the FDH Lounge.